Number 1. Piazza dell'Unita d'Italia. It is the main square in Trieste, a seaport city in northeast Italy. Located at the foot of the hill with the castle of San Giusto, the square faces the Adriatic Sea. It is often said to be Europe's largest square located next to the sea. The square was built during the period when Trieste was the most important seaport of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire and includes the city's municipal buildings and other important palaces. Number 2. Castello di Miramare. This is a 19th-century castle direct on the Gulf of Trieste between Barcola and Brignano in Trieste, northeastern Italy. It was built from 1856 to 1860 for Austrian Archduke Ferdinand Maximilian and his wife, Charlotte of Belgium, later Emperor Maximilian I and Empress Carlotta of Mexico, based on a design by Carl Junker. Number 3. Castello di San Giusto. Crowning San Giusto Hill is the castle, built by the Habsburgs in the 15th to 17th centuries to enlarge a medieval Venetian fortress that replaced earlier Roman fortifications. Enter the castle over a wooden drawbridge across a narrow moat to explore its vaulted halls and climb to its ramparts. Number 4. Museum Rosaria di San Saba. The rice husking factory of San Saba was the only Italian Nazis camp with a crematory oven activated from 1944 until the end of World War II. After the Second World War some buildings were used as refugee camps starting from the 1950s. In 1965 following a decree of the Italian President of the Republic it became a national monument. The memorial was restructured in its current form in 1975 after Romano Boico's intervention. Number 5. Museo Civico Revoltella. Civico Museo Revoltella is one of the most famous and most visited museums in the city. The building near the sea, overlooking Piazza Venezia, was where Revoltella spent his last years. It was founded in Trieste in 1872 by Baron Pasquale Revoltella. The Baron, after he left his house to the city, located in Piazza Venezia, and all the works, furniture, and books it contained. Number 6. Molo Otis and Harbor. Originally, the Molo Otis was called Molo San Carlo, this name derived from the ship San Carlo, sunk in Trieste Harbor, the wreck of which was used as a base for building a new pier between 1743 and 1751. The torpedo boat destroyer Otis was the first ship of the Italian Navy to enter Trieste Harbor, docking at the then Molo San Carlo. Number 7. Cathedral di San Giusto. Trieste Cathedral dedicated to St. Justice is a Roman Catholic cathedral and the main church of Trieste, in northern Italy. It is the seat of the Bishop of Trieste. In 1899, Pope Leo XIII granted it the status of a Basilica Minor. The Cathedral of San Giusto was formed in the 14th century by combining two churches from the 6th and 11th centuries. Number 8. Canale Grande and San Spiridione. The Canale Grande, 1756, a long harbor formerly used by sailing ships and now filled with small boats. Cafés line the wide walkways at either side, and behind them stand beautifully maintained buildings. To the right is the Serbian Orthodox Church of San Spiridion, built in 1868 and reminiscent of Byzantine-style eastern churches. Number 9. Lake Bled and Ljubljana. Lake Bled is Slovenia's most popular tourist attraction and although it's getting more and more famous, it's still relatively unknown comparing to other European landmarks. And, in contrast to other places flooded by masses of visitors, the beautiful bled is not overrated at all. Number 10. Teatro Romano. The Roman theater was built in the last quarter of the first century BC, at the foot of the hill of C. Peter. The building site of the theater remained open for several decades, which was natural, given the grandiose nature of the building. During the course of time, the building suffered damage from the weather, the cataclysms that intervened, and lay entirely buried beneath miserable huts for centuries. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.